Well guys, it's that time of the year again. Time to purge some motherfuckers. Hey guys, it's the Black Critic Guy and... Get... I'm not part of the purge anymore. And as I promised in my Now You See Me review, I present my review of The Purge. So The Purge takes place 10 years, or as it would be now, 9 years in the future, where for 12 whole hours on a certain day, you could commit any crime, including murder, without any consequences. And it follows this one family who don't want anything to do with the purge, they just want to have a normal night, but their idiotic son brings in a stranger into the house that actually is part of a big, like, kind of sacrificial lamb kind of ceremony and then they get dragged into some shit and now they have to fight for their lives. Now I'm not gonna lie, I was very interested to see this movie. I mean the concept was very intriguing and I actually could see our government heading down this path. Although you might not feel like it's realistic, I feel like one of these days they're gonna give some type of day where we can all vent out. So the concept really intrigued me. Now the execution of the concept I felt was handled well, but overall the movie's just eh. It's okay. I mean, the acting was good for what it needed to be. Ethan Hawke plays his character, and he plays his character very well. Lena Headey, who is looking really good, actually, plays her role very well. Although, it kind of sucks to see her kind of, like, tamed. I'd rather see her go balls to the walls and same. The guy who led the Charlie Manson family rejects, he was menacing. I mean, he has this really creepy smile, and... It just kind of unnerved me how he would smile at you and then tell you how he's gonna kill you. And it just was like, whoa. That's creepy. And there are some really suspenseful moments. I wouldn't say that this film is very scary, although it's targeted as a scary movie. It's not really scary. But there were some tense moments where, you know, it's dark and it's silent. You don't know what's going to happen. And boom! Ah, you jumped, didn't you? You jumped. And like I said, the concept and execution was handled very well. I loved how they showed the different parts of the United States as the purge was going on. And mainly they attack on the poor, which becomes a moral dilemma for one of the kids in the family. Because he hears this guy outside yelling for help. And, you know, he's like, oh, I got to help this guy. He's, he's in need. But it just ends up just screwing the entire family. And I understand what the film was trying to do with the whole moral dilemma of do we save him or do we feed him to the wolves? Does that make us less human? Does that make us bad people? And if I was put in the situation where my life wasn't on the line and it was just a normal day and someone was screaming for help, I probably would have helped him. But in this situation when the purge is going on and my family is at risk, I'm sorry, but my family will trump any stranger on any given day. I'm not gonna open the door for you. Are you crazy? And you might say, whoa, that's mean-spirited. How could you say something like that? But you gotta take it under the concept of you're allowed to do whatever you want on this day. You could kill anybody. Why would I risk my family for that? I would never do that. Ever. I'm sorry, man. You're gonna have to take one for the team. I think the one thing that this film missed out on is that they really didn't explore more of the purge. I mean, they only stayed in this one selected area and we followed this family when we could have been all around the United States and seeing how the purge affected other people. I mean, the family is interesting as it is, but I really would have loved to see like somebody preparing for the purge. He's all excited or she's all excited or somebody that's getting ready to like rob some places, steal some money for himself. You know, you could commit any crime that you want. Why would you just go around killing people? Why not steal? Why not pillage? Why not torture somebody? I mean, there's so many other things you can do and get away with. I mean, if the purge was a real thing and it actually happened, I wouldn't kill anybody. I, I don't have it in me to kill somebody. I just don't have that drive and that anger to be like, oh, I'm going to kill a guy. However, I would go and steal some stuff. I mean, I would rob a bank. I would steal some plasma screen TVs. Hell, I'd buy a thousand cameras. I'd be set for life. Why not show that in The Purge? I mean, they said you could commit any crime that you want, including murder. But no, they just show them murdering people. And honestly, why would you murder people? It's such a limited time thing. I mean, you kill someone and then it's over with. You're like... What else do you do? But if you rob a bank, if you rob a TV, you're set for at least another 10 years. The big picture, people. Think about it. And there are too many plot convenient things that happen that saves the family from getting killed. And I was just irritated by that. But overall, The Purge was a very interesting concept with some good acting and a really cool throwdown with Ethan Hawke. I just felt like they could have explored more about The Purge and maybe even have some more scary elements thrown into there. So that's why I'm going to give this film a 3 out of 5 stars. Eh, it's okay. If you don't see The Purge, no one's going to beat you up for it. 
or will they? But anyway, what did you guys think of this film? Did you like it a lot or did you find it boring and you really didn't care about the situation? And let me know if The Purge was a real thing, what would you guys do? There will be no judgment here, I promise. I already told you guys what I would do, so comment below and let me know. Anyway, like I said earlier, there's going to be a ton of reviews coming out. Clone High, an anime review that it's to be announced. And also, I'll be uploading a series of videos on Nightcast Studio, so be sure to check that out. Links will be in the description, including an interview with the Crispin Freeman and NitroCon highlights. So until then, guys, hit that subscribe button. If you're new to my channel, welcome to the Black Critic Guy. Like this video if you really enjoyed it, and I'm Tony Wiley II from the Black Critic Guy. Till then, peace, YouTube.